Now before we start, if you guys enjoy this tutorial today, consider becoming a Patreon. You get access to awesome rewards and you also help me out to continue creating Minecraft mods, videos and more. So if you're interested, link in the description below. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the device API. Now I get this requested quite a lot because there's a ton of you guys that are new to the device API and um, the tutorials that I've done in the past are now kind of all outdated so I thought I would do kind of an updated, an updated tutorial or an updated series on how to actually use the API now again this might break again which is kind of unfortunate but I just kind of want to do it for now so you guys can you know get a bit of a start on the device API and start developing your own apps. So it's really easy to set up the API and I'm going to be taking you guys through the whole entire process. Now this video today is just going to be covering how to you know how to actually set up um, the device API. It's not going to cover any coding yet. Um, it's just you know how to actually set up the workspace so you can actually um, start using it. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to start this off straight away. Now I'm assuming you guys already know how to set up a modding workspace. Um, if you don't, um, I don't even recommend you try working with this API. You should know how be a, you should know how to code Minecraft before you actually start working with this API right now. Um, this is not a beginner's tutorial. Um, I should mention that as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and um, the first thing that we've got to do is go ahead and download the API. Now there's two locations that you can actually do this. One is the device API developers discord now I'll put a link in the description sorry that's not it this is it here um, I'll put a link in the description for an invite link to this discord server um, and if you go over here uh, make sure you read the rules first if you are joining this um, but go to hashtag downloads here and you'll find the latest device API download so it'll be the one that's right at the bottom here the ones above are kind of old ones the latest one will be down here so as you can see at the time of recording this video um, I have released device API 0.2.1 for Minecraft 1.12. Now, keep that information in mind because, um, as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.12.2. That means we've actually got to set up a modding workspace for Minecraft 1.12.2. It can't be 1.10, can't be 1.11. It has to be 1.12. So keep that in mind uh, when you uh, when we when we when we are creating the uh, workspace here. So uh, as you can see, the first one here is. Device API 0 0.2.1, 1.12.2.jar. So that is the actual um, file we want to download. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I've already got it downloaded. Don't worry. I'm not going to download it, but you guys go download it right now. Um, you'll find the docs below and also the sources. We're also going to attach all that as well because it's going to be really helpful when you're actually developing. Now, another alternative um, to download in case you don't want to join the uh, Discord server is let me go ahead and bring up um, github here let me just expand this out uh, you can find my repository so I'll put it in the description uh, below again and then if you go to releases here you'll find the latest one now I actually haven't put the latest one up on here yet but I will do it before I actually put this video out to you guys so if you want to download it from here you can do that as well um, I'll, again link in the description for the github um, but yeah, let's go ahead let's set this up now. So we're going to create a new folder on my desktop here. Now obviously put this wherever you want, but I'm just doing it on the desktop for tutorial purposes. Um, so this is going to be our modding folder. So you should guys should already um, know how to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up Forge here. So we'll grab the MDK. So this is Forge for 1.12. As we have mentioned already, we are setting this up for the latest version of the device API. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and in here, we're going to create a new folder called libs. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and get the jar, the device API jar file and put it in that libs folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the jar from uh, my mod. So in my actual project folder, um, I've got all the builds for the mods, so I can find it in here, releases, API, and then the latest one here. So I'm going to copy that. I'm also going to copy the sources as well. Oh no, not sources, just the uh, just the jar file. And then go ahead and paste that into the libs folder. Now we're going to go ahead and launch IntelliJ. 
So we're going to start this up. So this is not for Eclipse. Um, I will put a link in the description on how to actually, you know, reference a jar into your workspace um, because this is basically what we're going to be doing in IntelliJ. But obviously, the process is a little bit different if you're using Eclipse. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's open that project up now. I do have that there, but that's just kind of just cached. Um, let's go ahead and let's find our desktop here. So KZ desktop device API, and let's just load that up like normal. Create a workspace, and here we go. Let's go ahead and build it. Now, while that's building, you'll notice over here as well that we've got this libs folder. That's the one we actually created there. And what we're going to do is actually add that um, as a library, that folder. Um, so it's really, really easy in IntelliJ, and I really like how just how simple it really is. Um, so once this finishes building, we'll do it. Um, I just don't want to. Just in case it, you know, if we add it now, it might interrupt something or might, you know, just want to just do it one by one, you know. So it's now done. We're going to go ahead and right click on libs here. And really simple, just go down to the bottom here, add as library, and then press OK. Uh, make sure it says project library, device API, um, or whatever, it should be whatever your project name is. Um, press OK. And pretty much that is now a library and you can start referencing or start using the API right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, one thing we're also going to do is actually um, add the sources and the Java docs to it because it's going to really help out um, if you're actually developing. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll go to right click on the actual jar file, click on open library settings. And then here you'll find um, is that it there? Yeah, that's right. That's it right there. All right, cool, cool, cool. So right click on that. And then we're going to click on edit. And then here what we're going to do is, is one of those more of a correct one? Add documentation URL. Okay, don't worry. Uh, we're going to click add. And then what you need to do is find the, um, the docs and then the sources file you downloaded. Um, so go download them if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to go to my actual documents, GitHub, and I'm just going to get it out, out of um, my actual device mod project folder. Build libs uh, releases API. I'm going to grab the sources for the API, put that in, and then we're going to go ahead and get the docs documentation as well. So have I got it there? Where is it? Should be have I should have docs here somewhere. Okay, I think I just missed it. It should be there. Oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> somehow I missed it. I don't know how. Uh, but there's the docs. Let's add that in, and then it'll automatically, if you're using IntelliJ, it will actually detect it. Um, so just press OK. It should be like not straight there. And as you can see, it's out of the sources, out of the Java docs. Press OK, apply, and there we go. And then if you actually go to the jar now, you can actually browse all the source code for it. So if you bring down this, um, the one thing you're mainly going to be using is from this API package here. Um, all the other stuff is kind of, you know, for the mod only. Um, so all the stuff you guys are going to be using is from the API package. Um, so if we go to app here, you'll find um, all this bunch of stuff here that I'll probably need to, you know, do some videos on for you guys. But um, the main one yeah, you would want to be looking at here is the application class. So this is what you actually extend. Um, you create like a, you know, you create a subclass of application um, to create your own custom applications. As you can see, it's abstract. So extend it. Um, you can kind of start playing around with it. Um, I can give you guys a few pointers. There's application manager, and this is where you actually register your class. Um, so you'd call this method here inside of um, it can be your pre-initialization, initialization method, whatever one you want to do it in um, inside of your mod class. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff in here, components. Um, there's, there's so much stuff I got to explain. I'm not going to go into too much detail right now, just because. This is uh, more of just a, you know, a way to set it up. Now we're going to test that this actually runs. So I'm just going to quickly gen the IntelliJ runs here, and then we just need to quickly uh, configure them. So let's go edit. Oh, why is this taking so long? Why is this taking so long just to do the IntelliJ runs? All right, whatever. Um, let's go here. Just fix up these. 
I'm going to just change the module around, press apply, and then let's go to client. We should be able to load this up and you'll see that in the actual mod list um, of um, Forge, you'll see we have the device API installed, which is really, really cool. It's really simple. So if we go to mods here, you'll see in the list here at the bottom, we have the device mod installed. Um, it's actually the device API version. If we create a new um, world here and we take a look at the laptop to confirm that it is actually the, you know, the device API edition of the mod, we can see um, that the laptop will have a yellow background on it when we actually open it up. So come on world, why is it taking so long to generate? <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to connect online. All right, all good. Um, so let's go here, let's grab out a laptop. So let's get a yellow one here. And then you'll see in the background, we have a yellow version. It says developer version at the top there, 0.2.1. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. I'm gonna going to be doing more, showing you guys how to actually create your first application and use a bunch of um, the features in the device API because there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot you guys can use and you can develop awesome stuff. It's almost like, you know, developing for like Android. There's so many options. You can create custom, com like custom components. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be covering a lot of the basics of the device API for you guys so you can start creating so many awesome applications. Now, again, I do highly suggest you guys actually um, join the Discord um, device API developers server. Um, this is where you can get help with everything. So if you need help with, you know, you know, how do I add in, you know, um, a button component, you can go to hashtag support here in the device API category, ask it in here. Um, you can post off, you can post in here, um, stuff you've been developing. So as you can see, some guy is making like a app designer right now. We got some guy here creating like an AI. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff like some guys get creating a game some guys creating a shop um, There's a lot of cool stuff happening um, in this mod right now. So I'd love if you could be a part of it um, And do so by joining this uh, discord server, but that's it. I will see you guys later stick around for some more tutorials um, And yeah, bye guys